welcome to the beautiful Flinders Ranges. Today we're going all the way up to the saddle of St. Mary's Peak along the St. Mary's Peak track. And I've done this once before and so has Beck and we can tell you this, it is incredibly steep. So you're gonna be hearing a lot of heavy breathing. The other thing you might be hearing today is the amount of wind that's gonna be coming into the microphone because we have for some reason chosen a day where we've got 45 kilometer winds. It's a beautiful trail though. And the sun's still shining, nothing at all to complain about. Here we go. If you've done any kind of research into the St. Mary's Peak Trail, or maybe you're doing it right now by watching this video, you'll know that there's two ways to get to the top. The outside track and the inside track. So the inside track will take you through the center of Wilpena Pound. Today, we're taking the outside track and we're doing that as a return, so we're not doing it as the loop. The loop would mean you take the outside track all the way up to the top and then come back, of course, along the inside to the, uh, to the start of the track at Wilpena Pound Visitor Centre. If you just do the outside track as a return, it should only take about six hours and that's what we're expecting today. The difference though is that Rebecca and I love having lunch halfway through a hike. So we're probably going to set up at the saddle and have some sort of lunch up there. It should be really nice. Eventually you're going to get to a point on the trail where it gets a lot rockier and it gets a lot steeper and this is kind of I guess what you could call the start of the ascent to go up the peak and we've just hit that now so the easy part's over now the hard work begins so that's what it's all about. As you continue higher and higher up the incline, the views just get astounding. I mean, you go through relatively thick bush and trees for a little while, and once you come out of that, it's just stunning. And the hike takes a little bit longer because all you want to do is stop every five meters and just check out the view, it's outrageous. I mean, here I am perched on the edge of this cliff and I can't help but stop and take it in. It's, it's really breathtaking. I can only imagine the views are going to get better and better as we get higher and higher. As I said, it does get pretty steep. Beck's up there somewhere. Can you see her? Here we are coming up to one of my favourite spots to look out in the whole of South Australia. It's the saddle of St. Mary's Peak and the view you get from here is absolutely outrageous. Look at this.
view is a little bit tainted because this huge wind that I mentioned earlier, there must be at least about 40 kilometers, 45 kilometers an hour. It's created a giant dust storm <clears throat> way off into the distance there. At this spot, you can normally see the ranges really going off into the distance and it's, it's such a phenomenal sight. I've been here many times before and it's one of my favorite things to see but today I get a totally different view. It's a little bit clouded but I've never seen a dust storm from this high before. It's kind of ridiculous to be honest. <laughs> Looks crazy. Still an incredible spot for lunch I think. didn't take long and the weather just turned like that. We saw this huge grey cloud come over that dust storm that we saw way off in the distance as we got here. It's kind of caught up with us and it's mixed with actual grey weather. So, oh look, there's a rainbow up there. Check that out. So to avoid getting wet and to avoid clambering down slippery rocks, we've decided to quickly pack up as fast as we could and we're getting the heck out of here. We did get to enjoy a nice coffee with a nice view though. Totally worth it. Even if we get wet, it's totally worth it. I mean, look at this spot. And to be honest, the weather, it doesn't, it never really matters to us that much, especially when the views are this good. We always think it's totally worth it. So, so cool. You gotta come up here. A secret well kept. But everyone knows. All right, it's time to get the hell out of here. Let's go! <laughs> Try to keep it so still, but the wind blows. All the while the wind blows. You talk to us about how you're feeling on the downward approach. Uh, with your fear of heights? <laughs> oh, it's, it's worse because I can see ahead of me, I think. Climbing upwards, you sometimes can't see the drop behind you. So, whew, it's a challenge. <laughs> so it's pretty vertical? <laughs> yep. There's a very big open space behind you right now. Whew. <laughs> The reward of the view that you get is worth it. And the feeling of having overcome the fear. <laughs> I can't believe it. I need to get out of here. Lost in the sight of you. As expected, it uh, started pouring down with rain. It's kind of nice, got to use my new uh, Gore-Tex rain jacket. Yo! But it's pretty much all downhill from here, and we're cruising home. And to be honest, the rain has made everything kind of beautiful. Everything's kind of damp and wet. You've got these really beautiful deep greens on red dirt, and I don't know, rain has a way of making things seem even more beautiful than normal. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, gotta watch your step, Simon, come on. <laughs> Better put this away. <laughs> Well, 
Well, we finished the hike in a deluge of rain again, but it was really fun. The rain brings out incredible smell in nature, and it's beautiful, and you wouldn't believe the colors in the sky right now. Good hike? Yeah, great. Definitely do it.